the the incident for me didn't just end on the day of when it occurred in the hotel room in 1976. Um, it did. Uh, it was compounded. It. it it, it did damage the rest of what I would say in certain aspects the rest of my life. It affected the rest of my life. And yes, there is, a, you know, there are other aspects to, to the rest of the story that um, is a continuation of there. It didn't just end there for me. Um, and it's all directly linked to Tom Jones. So the beginning of 1976 in March, by the time 1976 it ended, you were a different person? Completely different person. Completely. I lost, <laughs> I lost my childhood. I lost my innocence. And uh, I'd started a completely very difficult journey of life. Are you asking for any money at this point? I haven't, I've never asked for money, I'm not asking for money on this story out there for the media, no. Do you have desires to be famous from this? I've always wanted something good to be done with a story. I've always wanted it, whether it's for education of sex, education at schools for kids, um, regarding if something could be done with it in, in light of good, I would be more than willing to continue speaking with it um, and engaging in, in conversation about it. Um, I, I do feel important, that, that is my entire, I'm an activist by nature, I'm an activist today, I work with Big Five in South Africa, um, I hold fundraisers and events and I, I get together, you know, huge awareness campaigns for our Big Five, which are our wildlife. And um, it's, it's inbred in me to just seek out justice and truth. So if I wanted to do anything with a story, I'm sure I could have done a long time ago. And I never wanted to. I just feel that today, with so much of it, people need, you, you need to do something good with it. What is the point of just naming and shaming? It, the, to me, it's completely irrelevant because there could be so much of it. What is the point? Um, one needs to get to the core of why this happens so that it doesn't happen in the future generations. And we have, we can at least go, the world is buggered. The world is, the world has been raped from our resources, from our children, to our diamonds, to our minerals, to our animals, to everything. And if we don't become, if we don't get people out there that are the voices, to be able to actually get out there and speak through their own experiences all comes to naught. There is no point. We may as well just continue plummeting through the rest of the world and it becomes the Wild West. So what is the point? What is the point? I've lived with it my whole life. I have nothing to lose. I've lost everything already as it is. At the end of the day, um, there's one thing that can't be taken away from me. And that's the truth. That is what happened. Um, and if I could use myself as an example, as a voice for future generations, for the good of something, then let it be so.